Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a video about conductivity, but typically in textbooks we see resistivity, so we have to be careful to make sure that we don't get confused here. It deals with conductivity and current, and the question says a cylindrical wire of radius 0.5 millimeters and conductivity of 5 times 10 to the 7 Siemens per meter is subjected to an electric field of 10 millivolts per meter. The expected value of the current in the wire will be x cubed pi milliamps, and we're looking for the value of x. So let's draw a little drawing of the wire. So here we have a wire. The radius of the wire, the radius is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter. And so we're going to have current flowing through the wire. So we're going to have a certain amount of current density, J. And the current density, J, can be defined as the strength of the electric field pushing the current through the wire divided by the resistivity. However, since we know that resistivity is equal to 1 over conductivity, we can also say that this is equal to the conductivity times the strength of the electric field. Again, if you don't remember that, you don't have much of a chance of getting this problem correct. So this at least gives us a way to find the, uh, the current density. And then the equation to find the current, I, is going to be equal to the current density times the cross-sectional area, A. So once we have the current density, we plug it in here to find I, and then we should be able to get the answer. So that's the strategy. So in this case, this is equal to the conductivity, which is 5 times 10 to the 7th. And the electric field strength is in millivolts per meter. So that would be 1 times 10 to the minus 2, because we want to convert it to volts. And that will give us the current density. So J is equal to 5 times 10 to the fifth power. Then we come up here and we say that I is equal to the current density, current, oh, what am I saying here? Um, this is incorrect. I'm looking for the current density symbol. So sorry about that. So I equals J times A. So the current density is 5 times 10 to the fifth. And then we're going to multiply times the area, which is pi times the radius squared. Um, hmm, the radius is 0.5 millimeters, so we end up with 5 times 10 to the minus 4, and we want to square that. Okay, so now we have 5 squared times 5, which is 5 cubed, so 5 cubed times 10, so times 10 to the fifth. This is minus 8, minus 8 in the fifth, that would be minus 3, and times pi. So this would be equal to 125 times 10 to the minus 3 times pi. So that would be the value for the current. Now let's look at the answer. They want in terms of x cubed times pi milliamps. Well, 10 to the minus 3 is milli. We have the pi, we have the 5 cubed. So this is the same as x cubed times pi milliamps like this. And so therefore we know that x equals 5. And that is then the correct answer. So again, it's all about knowing that the current density is electric field divided by the resistivity or the conductivity times electric field. We're given both. We can find the current density. Then we come up here. That's indeed current density. That's then calculated over there times the area, which is pi times the radius squared. And this is the radius converted into meters. And that is how we do that. So remember, I. Put in, I had an error here, if you can make a note of that, at the resistivity symbol up there.